These squares have built-in shortcuts for specific projects and are helpful to have for some general tasks too. Here's how to use them. The speed square has a basic rule and a lip that fits over the edge of a board. You'll usually see rafter angle degrees and angle indicators from 1 to 90 degrees marked on the diagonal edge. This little tool packs in quite a few useful features. When you're cutting lumber, you can square the edge and quickly mark parallel 90 degree cuts. The diagonal edge is a perfect 45 degrees. Flip a board on edge and make quick marks for 45 degree cuts. You can also mark angles for soffit, fascia, rafter ends, or miter cuts. For example, using the corner as a pivot point, line up the 30 degree marking with the edge of the board and mark your line along the square edge. Scribe cut lines on plywood or drywall using these little notches. The line will be perfectly parallel to the edge. Framing square markings have increments and tables to help you align rafter angles with the pitch of a roof. For example, if you were building something with a roof and you figured out that the pitch would rise 7 inches for every 12 inches of run, you'd line up the rise and the run markings to mark your cuts for the rafter board. Get to know this tool if you're building something like a playhouse, shed, or porch, or if you're laying out stringers for a set of stairs. It's also useful for marking square angles on a flat surface or for squaring off the edge of lumber. A combination square includes a ruler with an interchangeable attachment. Use the 90 degree angle edge to mark right angles and check the accuracy of a saw cut. Mark continuous lines around four sides of a board or post, or scribe a line parallel to the edge of a board. You can also use it as a depth gauge for measuring the depth of a groove and setting the depth of a router bit. Flip this attachment around to set it for 45 degree angle markings. The protractor is used for other specific angles, and once you set the angle, you have a template for repeating the same cut on several pieces. This makes it good for decking or molding projects. Use this attachment to find the center of a dowel, rod, or other large circular objects. Here are a couple more tips to help you choose the right tool. A speed square is a good guide to keep your saw blade in line. A combination square is also a great tool for recalibrating your table saw or miter saw blades. For the tips, advice, and tools you need, visit your neighborhood ACE and find us online at acehardware.com.